Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Ray McHenry, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. Let's call to mind our sins. You have come to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You've come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. mercy. You plead for the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy and faith and hope that we may ever, may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in unity through the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, They returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they settled. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they had arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the, with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Alleluia. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Alleluia. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. Reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I'm going away, and I'll come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so when it happens you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the rule of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, that I do as the Father has commanded me. Gospel of the Lord. Well, 
Well, Jesus is speaking to his, to his disciples, he mentioned about the ruler of the world is coming, who has, who has no power over me. That's usually the dark one he's talking about, the coming of the, you know, the devil who seems to claim to be the ruler of the world. Of course, he is not. But he, but he's coming, and he's coming, and his temptation is coming. He has no, but he has no, he has no power over me. Just know that. Just be sure. In those times, know that he has no power over me. But before he said that, he mentioned the peace, the peace he's going to give. Peace, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. So things are coming. You know. So be prepared. Things are coming. Uh, that be, be, be ready for. But be at peace, he said. Despite what's going to come, be at, be at peace. Be at, be at peace. So I'm going, but I'm coming, but I'm coming back. I'm coming, I'm coming back for you. Said, but do not, so do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Over and over and over again, that sentiment comes up in Scripture. Do not be afraid. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I may go, but I'm coming back. But, but I leave you, despite all the things that are going to happen, all the things that might be going on, I give you peace. My peace, he said. My, my peace. Not the world's peace, but my peace. That doesn't mean, you know, calm waters and there's going to be no troubles and nothing else is going to go on and all is going to be, you know, roses and flowers and hearts and flowers and all that. You know, the, the peace I leave you is not something superficial. It's, it's the peace of spirit, the peace of heart uh, that you're going to have for me, knowing, knowing that I love you, knowing that the Father loves you, knowing that you're in our hands. That's the peace I give to you, that despite anything that's going to happen, any troubles we might be going through, you're on my love, and you're on the Father's love. And with that, knowing that, have peace. Do not be troubled. Do not be afraid. That's the peace I give to you, that I love you and the Father loves you. And there, and ultimately that means eternal life with him. That's the peace he gives us. So despite any troubles, and despite any what looks like you know, successes of the dark one, the ruler of the world, do not be troubled by that. Do not be afraid. I love you. The Father loves you. And that's the peace I grant to you, that you are loved by me and loved by the Father. That's the assurance we have today. Let us pray. For the church, may the Lord fortify and sustain her in her prophetic witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. For government officials, may God guide them towards wisdom and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from depression or anxiety, may God provide them with healing and comfort in their time of need. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful gathered here today, may God help us to bear one another's burden with patience and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithfully departed, especially Kathy Murray, for whom Kathy Murray, for whom this Mass is offered, may God grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers we hold in the depths of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Mighty God and Father, we raise our prayers to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. So blessed are you, Lord God, King of all creation, for through goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For goodness, we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial lamb who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the ending of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when several was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bringing her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Thank you.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter my roof. Though I say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, go find the Lord by your life. Have a good day. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.